Well, okay with Zuna. I have the on the second sub graph the squeeze indicator, and these are the inputs. Most of these I suggest um, just leave them as default until you get to know this indicator and if you'd like to change it then that's up to you. You can set alerts, you can change the style of the histograms and the squeeze which are these dots here. The colors as well and scaling is pretty much just wherever you want to put it either if you're using it on a chart just with one instrument or several you can place it wherever you'd like a little bit about the indicator these histograms uh, when they're green momentum is increasing when they turn dark green momentum is decreasing and vice versa this line here which is plotted in dots or points will change colors when it's blue it's n there's no, there's nothing for you to do when it turns green then that green is the beginning of volatility contraction or you can say squeeze okay volatility is getting squeezed and then it after that it'll turn red sometimes it'll just be a single green and then go to blue those I would suggest to ignore when it turns red you're still the volatility is continuing to contract as you can see up here okay and once it turns blue again then volatility has began to increase and when it turns blue and you get a histogram that is red not dark red red or green but not dark green then that's your confirmation so you need it to be blue and the histogram needs to be either red or green and not dark red or, nor dark green that's your confirmation essentially this area here where you go into squeeze or volatility contraction the volatility has contracted so much and now you want to exploit the expansion of volatility but you need to wait for the confirmation so that's what this indicator is pretty much about now I showed the inputs and explained a little bit about the indicator the basics and the logic of the indicator of course if you just start trading every day and you take okay we have a squeeze here and you take the long squeeze and the short squeezes all of them as a mix then your results aren't going to be so great but if you need to but if you want to add several filters then your results will will dramatically improve and then it begin then you can see and appreciate the indicator now one other thing that i want to mention about the squeeze some people think that just one little dot like this green dot that's a long signal or that's a valid squeeze the whole concept of volatility contraction the logic behind this indicator is that the more contraction you get the better move you'll get okay the, because when volatility contract, contracts so much you're going to get a big expansion but when it contracts just for one dot that's that's just especially on a one minute chart that's that's nothing that's just nothing that important okay so I would recommend and this is up to you but I would recommend to including the green dot to have at minimum three three points okay or three periods that you're in, within the squeeze or volatility is contracting uh, that makes for a better that just uh, makes more sense in terms of the logic of this indicator so that's my suggestion it's up to you if you would like to adhere to that or not the next suggestion I would have is if you just wanna start using this indicator and you wanna see one filter you could add would be the trend HA or if you have a, another method of your own that you use to track trend do that now, I'm just going to cover using this trend indicator which is the trend HA um, it's a paint bar study that paints each bar according to the trend okay. I have it here on a 30 minute chart and I have the squeeze on a 1 minute chart and if you like to use tick charts then you could use tick charts with 
an anchor either the 30 minute or if you're using really low tick charts like a 230 240 tick chart something like that or even lower than that then you could decrease your anchor which is on this side you could put it I suppose to a 10 minute 15 minute chart or even lower than that but uh, the con the filter would be once the 30 minute chart is showing an uptrend then you would be looking to filter your squeeze confirmations according to that trend so for example we open up and the first bar wait for the first 30 minutes you can do that to be a little bit more conservative or you can say well yesterday was up and today is going to be up I'll just consider today an uptrend too and just go with that a conservative approach would be to say okay we'll wait the first 30 minutes see what the market does and then we'll react accordingly so this day would be an ex the prior day were uptrend or an up bias and the beginning of today after the 30 minute you wait you see a 30 minute bar closes and you have a blue color indicating an up bias so you would ignore this squeeze here okay and you would trade here so you would be long at the close of this bar and you could use the histograms to manage your trade or you could throw this trend mechanism indicator on your one minute and do it that way and as you can see if you stay with this filter it'll filter out all your trades and you can approach near 60 70 percent win rate and um, if you use proper management trade management then you'll do fine now <clears throat> For example, today we opened up, you wait for the first 30 minutes, and really you didn't have anything prior to that. And then after that, begin trading. So you, you could get short at the close of this bar in this area. Okay, It moved against you for quarter, uh, one tick, which you don't want to place your stops that tight. And then you would just take profits, scale out you would ignore this long because your anchor is telling you to sh just short okay another thing that you can add which if you want to take it even one step further and make it even get it closer to above 70 percent consistently you can add my you can add the high activity SR zone okay it's a great little indicator you can use filters with almost any setup you're essentially trading in the areas where shifts took place, where high activity shifts took place. In other words, that's where a lot of activity from bears and bulls came in. So you know that's an area of interest. So you, you would want to trade in those areas. And that would help to reduce a lot of the noise. So you could say, my entries need to be, one of your requirements, my entries need to be within that range. For example, these dots that you're seeing that are yellow, those are marking the high activity areas. So this would be one, this would be another one. Okay. So you would look for shorts that your trigger is within that area, within that zone. You would still use your anchor so the anchor in this area would be short okay I I expanded this chart but it is short it's telling you to short and you get a squeeze here and you get your confirmation here but you're not within the zone so don't take the trade there wait till it gets into the zone and then enter your trade that's a this will really give you sound sound entry so that's basically the squeeze with a couple of filters that you can add simple filters to increase your probability. If you have any questions, you can email me at zuna at hotmail.com. Thanks for watching.